So let's talk about infrastructure. Lack of EV adoption is closely tied to range anxiety, which is also tied to infrastructure. So the inability to go long distances and the inability to charge when you do want to go long distances. So fixing it requires vehicles that take longer range uh, or powerful infrastructure that allows you to get back on the road quickly. And so a lot of that doesn't exist and we're here to change that. Not every charging station you go to is gonna be confirmed reliable uh, or give you uh, the full performance that you expect out of it. I wanna talk about my trip from Phoenix to San Diego and back that I did a couple of months ago. It was in a Mach-E and it was quite an interesting experience, at least a lesson learned. Uh, when driving from Phoenix, we went early morning across uh, the state, across the country. Uh, and on the way to uh, a border kind of uh, Arizona to California, we stopped at a charging station. A vehicle is capable of accepting 150 kilowatts, uh, which means we only needed to be there for a half hour. Luckily, there was no one uh, waiting to use the chargers. So we charged up quick uh, and on to the next destination, which is San Diego. Only needed to charge once, which was nice. On the way back, we stopped at the same location, but this time we took the evening route. And what was interesting is that same charging station only gave us 50 kilowatts. It was approximately like seven o'clock in the evening. Uh, and it was very frustrating because I couldn't figure out, was it the vehicle, was it the charger? Uh, and I have my assumptions. My assumption for this particular site is that site, the infrastructure that was set up over there was set up uh, with a battery pack, energy storage. And by the evening time, that battery pack had depleted itself and didn't have enough energy to provide full power and had to rely on the utility grid to continue providing it power. Uh, and then it likely over, uh, overnight charges the battery so it can provide that high power. That's not a good experience. You know, I, I, it was two vehicles. Uh, my family drove gas car, I drove the electric car, and they got back home hours uh, before I did because I had to wait four times, three to four times the amount of time for me to charge the car. Um, which means a half hour took an hour and a half to recharge, which wasn't so bad, gave me time to walk around, stretch my legs, uh, get some food, but I ended up getting home really late at night. Not an ideal experience because I relied on that charger on the way back to get me the full, power, uh, full, full performance power.